हेलो एवरीवन टुडेज लीड कोड क्वेश्चन इज कंटेन्स डुप्लीकेट थ्री द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट वी आर गिवन इन अ रे ऑफ इंटीजर्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वेदर देर आर टू डिस्टिंक्ट इंडेसेज आई एंड जे इन द एरे सच दैट द एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द नम्स आई एंड नम्स जे इज एट मोस्ट टी एंड द एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंस बिटवीन आई एंड जे इट एट मोस्ट के सो इट शुड बी लेस देन टी एंड शुड बी लेस देन के सो इन एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन वी हैव द इनपुट नम्स and in the array we have the numbers 1 2 3 and 1 the difference between an i and j should be at most 3 and the difference between the value at i and j should be at most 0 so in this case the output is true as you can see in this array when we are at i 0 and we move three points forward we reach at j and the difference between these two is 0 so the conditions that our k should be less than or equal to 3 and our t should be less than or equal to 0 is satisfied that is why we have the output true same with example number 2 we have the array so the absolute difference between i and j should be less than 2 or equal to 2 and the difference between the values at i and j should be at most 1 so in this case we have the output true so let's see how we can solve this question then we will move on to the code so let's first see what the question is saying we have our given array nums So in this case, the absolute difference between i and j should be at most k, which is equal to three. And t is the absolute difference between the values at i and j, and it should be at most zero. So the absolute difference between nums i and nums j should be at most t, and in this case, which is zero. So in our array, let's say we are at one. So we need to move forward. Three indices. We move forward three indices and we reach at one. So the absolute difference between these two digits is zero, and in this case, both of our conditions are satisfied. Hence, we return true. Let's take another example. So we have this array. We are at index one, and we need to move forward by one. So we move forward, and the absolute difference between these two is one, which is less than our t. so both of our conditions are satisfied hence we return true now coming at example number 3 in example number 3 we have this array our k is 2 and our t is 3 so let's start at the beginning first we are at the first index and we need to move forward by two indices so we move forward and we reach at 9 so the absolute difference between these two is 8 which is greater than our So let's move forward, and we are at five. We move forward by two indices, and we reach at one. So the absolute difference between these two is four, which is again greater than our t. So we move our i forward, and we reach at nine. Again, we move two indices, and we reach at five. So the absolute difference between these two is again four, which is greater than three. Again, let's move our i forward, and move by two indices. Again, we reach at nine, and the absolute difference is. Eight, which is again greater than three. So we have looked at the complete array, and we did not find a single case where the k was two and the t was at most three. Hence, we return false. So looking at these examples, we have learned these three things. We need to move forward our j according to the value of k. Then we need to compare the values at index i and index j. third we need to find the absolute difference between the values at i and values in j and it should be at most t if both of the conditions are satisfied then we need to return true else we will return false so let's see how we can do that so i am using a for loop on the indices and the values in enumerate nums enumerate gives us the values and the indices in the array nums so this is our nums and these are the indices this for loop gives me the value for i but i also need a for loop for j so i'm using another for loop for j in range index plus i and index plus i plus k so why this index plus 1 since in our nums my i is at 1 i need to compare it to j so my j is at the next index that is why index plus 1 next since i need to move forward my j according to the value of k i'm using the range 
starting from index plus i till index plus 1 plus k. In this case, my k is 3, so my j will move forward by 3. Now the only issue is that my k might be really large and I don't want my range to run out of the array. So for that, I am using a condition here, min, which takes the index plus 1 plus k and the length of nums. So between the index plus 1 plus k and the length of nums, it is going to pick the minimum number so that my k doesn't run out of the array. Using this logic, my range for this example starts from 1 and the maximum range is 4. After comparing the values at i and j, I am going to check the conditions that the absolute difference between the values at i and j should be less than or equal to t. If that is true, that it is going to return true and if not, then at last it is going to return false. So let me repeat it again. We are using a for loop on nums by using enumerate which uses the indexes and the values of i. So this gives us the i. Next for j, I am going to use another for loop over the range index plus 1 and the minimum of index plus 1 plus k and the length of nums. This gives me the range of j. Next I am simply checking if the absolute difference between i and j is at most t and I am returning true if it is true else. I am returning false. Now let's see the code. In the meantime, please give it a thumbs up. This really motivates us to make more videos and helps us to grow. So in the beginning, I am initializing my num len which is equal to the length of the nums. So in example number 1, the length of the nums is 4. On line number 7, I am taking care of some edge cases. So if my t is equal to 0 and my length of nums is equal to length of set of nums, then it is going to return false. Next, in line number 10, I am using my for loop over the indices and the values in enumerate nums. So right now my num is this and my indices are 0 till 3. Next, on line number 15, I am using another for loop for j. I am taking the range of my index plus 1 and the minimum of index plus 1 plus k and the length of my num. So in the first loop, I am at index 0. So my index plus 1 will be 0 plus 1 which is 1. Next I am taking index plus 1 plus k. Since my k is 3, it will be 0 plus 1 plus 3 which is 4. And my length of num is 4. So I am taking the range from 1 till the minimum of 4 and 4 and the minimum of 4 and 4 would be 4. So the range is 1 till 4. Next on line number 18, I am using an if else condition to check if the absolute difference between the values at i and j is at most t. So at first loop, my i is at index 0 and my j is at index 4 and the values at i and j is 1 and 1 and the difference of 1 and 1 is 0 which satisfies our condition, hence I am returning true. And at last, at line number 23, if none of the conditions are satisfied, then I am going to return false. So that's it for the code. Now let's submit it. And my code got accepted. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.